Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Smoke Room, another episode. Um, it's your boy, Dougie D. You know what I'm saying? You already know how I'm coming. Uh, today I want to talk about an album I've been waiting on for a long, long time. Uh, it's Tokyo, www. Uh, and I really love this guy. This guy, he has a great energy, great presence. Uh, he looks good. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's. I kind of place the whole Chance the Rapper, Vic Mensa, uh, Alex Wiley, and Tokyo. They all came up together, all kind of got their bag together. You know what I'm saying? Now, Alex Wiley and Tokyo aren't as big of names as Vic Mensa and Chance the Rapper, but I still think they're just as good. And um, yeah, so let's talk about it. Um, first off, I like Tokyo. Uh, just a really cool guy. Seems like a really wholesome person. Um, no bad bone in his body, I wouldn't think. And this album, I think, really just reflects it. It's really dynamic. It's really fun. It's really energetic. Uh, and it just sounds like he had a lot of fun making it. Um, so, yeah, the beats the the instrumentals and his beat selection the production on it i thought was really great every beat had its own vibe to it um there was no beats that sounded too much the same it was really ambitious in the beats he chose a lot of edm beats um uh so i mean you know whenever he does a show it's gonna just be lit and popping and just really fun and people are gonna be dancing i was dancing this whole time the whole time I was listening to it, I mean, he bobbing my head and just dancing. I was just grooving. I just love the vibe of this. Um, it sounds like it seems like he was really going for a pop style too, like a lot of poppy records in it that I really like. I think he needs to do. It would gain him a good amount of exposure and just you know. Um, just a lot more fans i mean some of them might even hop on the uh internet or not the internet but radio there's a lot of radio hits on here like uh the SZA, the SZA, uh track um there was also a track with big mensa that seems like it could go really far too i mean he was definitely searching for one on here uh i love the uh, drift song on here is just really fun really energetic uh just really different and artistic um and yeah i mean dude the, even the rollout for this was great i mean all through 2017 he was sprinkling um singles like you had swim you had uh drift and i think there was one more i can't remember it off the top of my head right now though um and then two days ago uh well today is the 23rd so on the 21st he uh, went into a helium balloon and went like to the rim of the planet or something like that. And it was just really cool. There's a lot of coverage on it. He was um, uh, taking videos and whatnot all day of him being up there. And I thought the album was going to drop then. So I was searching for it. I couldn't find it. I searched for it last night and couldn't find it. And then today I get on Twitter and I see that he finally dropped it. And as soon as I saw that, I was like, yes, yes. And immediately went and downloaded it, gave it a listen and gave it another listen. And I can find myself really coming back to this album and just dancing and just playing it for friends at a fun event or something like that. And just, it's just a really cool party vibe. And I mean, there's some chill vibes on here too. I mean, don't don't get it wrong. He definitely got barefoot, like I said, with that scissor track. And I didn't really know that he was a good singer, but turns out he is. Um, I felt some old school influences i felt some kanye influences on here and just his own style i think is just amazing i mean he's a great rapper he switched up the flow a lot no song was the same it doesn't sound like anything that i've ever heard from him i think this album was really ambitious and i think it was just him it definitely showed a lot more of maturity in it like from where he was with uh community service too and 
to now is just way different. You can see his music style and his music taste has grown a lot. So, I mean, I'm not going to rate this album. I think that's overplayed. But I will say that it gets two thumbs up from me. I love this album. Uh, if you liked it too, uh, tell me what you thought about it. Give me some of your feedback on it. What would you rate it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Um, don't forget to hit that like button. Always subscribe. Share with your friends. And yeah, that is the Tokyo uh, www.tokyo.com review from your man Dougie Dog here at the Smoke Room. I'll see you guys later. Peace.